Irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee right here on LA Talk Radio. Excellent. We're back. How's it going, Alan Lee? Very good, my friend. Uh, how are you doing? You've had a uh, quite a busy uh, month. A month. Uh, yo, um, you know. I've been a. Uh, I've been in school and uh, I wrote a movie and I've been um, busy and doing all that Las stuff. Las Vegas, Norm Macdonald. Uh, Norm Macdonald, Jeremy Hunt. Uh, unbelievable. You just. You, you know. You have the life, man. I have the life of a struggling. Uh, you are a star. <laughs> struggling star. Did I tell you I came in second place in the LA's funniest? Yeah, no, I, I I know that. I yeah. was there before the finals. Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't make the final, but congr- I'm congratulating you. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is fun because we're back at, uh, yeah. in the studio, Razor the Wrist, the podcast, the Yo, show. We love it. We love it. It's our lives. Yeah, I I really like the, I really like the show a lot. Uh, we got a great season ahead of us, man. I yes. mean, it's going to be awesome. You I'm know, excited. all of them have been great. You know, but like the thing that's cool about our show is it just keeps getting better. Yeah, you know? I hope so. It keeps rifting. Oh, rifting, <laughs> getting getting better at each rift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got uh, yeah. today in the studio. We got the great Fraser Smith, uh, a legend, another legend. Yeah, he's going to be awesome, Fraser. I did. Uh, I did comedy with, yeah. and he's coming in right now. Sure, he's looking. It's nice. See, he, he, Fraser is he? Is he here? Yeah, Fraser's right behind yeah, you. I like. I like. He's and a tall Fraser Smith. Well, Fraser he's Smith, a tall how you doing, man. pal? He's a tall, good man. Tall, Thank you, buddy. He's yeah. an elegant man. He's oh, hello, Fraser. Fraser this Glad is Alan, you, Alan Lee. Lee. Alan, how are you? Good to see you. How are you guys doing? Very good. good. Sir. Alan Lee's the trusty sidekick here. Yeah. Oh man! All right. That's, as far as my very good. My wife <laughs> everyone is, needs one. Don't they? Don't they? I usually have one with me. They have the day off. Who, who, who's your trusty sidekick? Uh, the, my trusty sidekick <laughs> is Harry Basil. Oh. Now, uh, he, he has been uh, following me all the way from Vegas. Really? Yeah, I didn't ask him to be my sidekick. He just oh, showed up. Apologies. So he just calls up every day. He just calls in on your radio show, or does no, he actually? No, he just follows me in yeah. his car. Nice. Everywhere. And that's why no one can get a booking in Vegas, <laughs> because he's too busy following me around. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. You you and I did Vegas together. Well, we did. Yeah. We uh, did. Uh, Jeremy Hotz was supposed to be there, but uh, Harry took the place because Jeremy uh, broke his arm. Well, and also because he was following me. So he followed me right to Vegas, and then they made him the headliner. Yeah. I thought that was oh, a mistake. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what a promotion. Uh, no, it was good. It was good. <laughs> uh, uh, how are you? I'm doing good, buddy. It's good. We can you. see uh, Notre Dame High School. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's where I went legend. to high school. Oh, are you, Is it really? really? No, no. I no it's <laughs> but I knew I know a lot of people that did it's, go there to high school. Yeah. We were just uh we were just talking about how I know you. I think uh I think I know you from stand-up comedy, but I think every stand-up comedian, you're the first uh, big name people know, you know, because everyone knows you. Well, that's what's starting to bug me. Yeah. Now, these darn comics, you know, uh, they're everywhere. Yeah. And, in oh. fact, on the way over, I ran into about five of them. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, uh, on the Including front. Jacob? Well, Jacob was there, too. He was, <laughs> he was hitchhiking. I picked him up. That's, that's a common I'm bringing common. everyone to your show now. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Thing. I don't you. mind I appreciate doing that. that. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> Yeah. But does it does it seriously bug you? Because like all oh, these comics are driving me crazy. They're everywhere. They're, yeah. everywhere. they're behind every tree. Thank you. No. They're they're uh, under every rock. I'm glad I mean, everywhere you go. So thank you for there's it. a comic. Yeah. And I can't get away from them. Yeah. No, I I, I love the comics. I'm no, no, no. I'm just kidding around. I, yeah, yeah. But I, I think I know what you're saying. Like it, it's there's too many, and like it's hard memorizing all their names and stuff. Well, thousands, I don't, thousands. I, there are thousands. I don't really mind. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I love the comics. That's great. Yeah, yeah they're all cool, and and uh, we, we, you know, any way I can help them. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you helping me doing this podcast. We've been trying to get you to do it for three years now. Well, I talked to Norm, and Norm said, whatever you do, don't do it. <laughs> that was not a very good Norm impression, but that's what he told me. Wait, did he really? Yeah, he said, uh, uh, Frasier, I don't know. If you should do That's more like Lovitz. It sounded more like Lovitz. Well, Lovitz told me the same thing. Lovitz said, Frasier Smith, don't do his podcast. <laughs> 
I could see John saying yeah, that. He told me that. And, literally. Uh, yeah. So I said, well, why not, John? He's a nice guy. And, and he goes, I know, but I don't want you doing his podcast before you do mine. John has a podcast? Yeah. And I don't know. That's what he told me. <laughs> he may not have one. He might have just been saying that. I don't know. I'm telling you. Yeah. But I could totally see John doing that, too. Well, me, too. You know how he is. <laughs> yeah. He'll try to divert anyone from anyone's podcast. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, the first time I uh, saw you do stand up, you actually opened up for John and Ashley Hamilton at the Improv in Irvine. This was like oh, is that oh yeah okay. This was like uh, what eight years ago? Yeah, that was uh, 1943. Yeah, uh, <laughs> way more than eight. Years. <laughs> yeah, Ashley Hamilton was 20. Uh, <laughs> yeah, down in Irvine. Yeah. yeah, I remember that show. Yeah, yeah that was that was those were that was like a perfect show too. It's a really good show because we were all buddies, and you know what it's like when you work with your friends. It's, it's fun. It's fun. And, uh, and John and, and Ashley and I worked together for a long time. Yeah. We were doing the shows at the Laugh Factory every Wednesday for a long time, too. Yeah. The three of us. The three of you? Well, I would open, and then Ashley, and then John. Oh, because John Lovitz had the, the Wednesday. Yeah, he had the Wednesday thing. Yeah. It was the, the John Lovitz show. Yeah, and then it went to Tom Arnold, right? Then it went to Tom Arnold. Why would they have him instead of me? <laughs> I'm John Lovitz. Well, Tom doesn't even have it anymore. It's a uh, no. Now and then it went to uh, Rob Schneider, and then from Rob Schneider it went to Carrot Top. Really, from Carrot Top. Uh, it it went to uh, I think Jeremy Hotz, and then after Hotz it went to uh, Russell Peters, and then for most of I mean they had someone different every yeah. week. Basically, is what happened. I wish oh, right. I wish I knew Jeremy when it was. During his show, I'm sure he would have put me on. Oh, he would have had you on there, yeah. Yeah, because you know I'm having a hard time getting at the Laugh Factory. Well, I can't believe that yeah. with your yeah. the comedic ability. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Alan Frazier was one of the yeah. judges at LA's funniest. Oh, uh, at the uh, at the Ice House. Yeah, at the, the Ice house. house. Yeah, where I came in second place. Hands I thought you should have won that. There you go. Thank you so right much. Here. You heard it yeah. right. You I think you right should have won that. I, I was and here. Jacob the phone so he could do the live. Jacob is uh, here. Yeah. And this is my uh, side, my second sidekick, Jacob. He's like my friend and then my assistant, and he said he's really good with like the i Facebook living. So Which I was he's like, doing right now. Yeah, he's so prove that to us right now. So right. I was like, all right, go do you it. Then he says I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, that's how we we like to show most of our. Uh, Periscope stuff. You see the bathroom. Yeah, I was like, why don't you just take my phone live, in the bathroom? Yeah, live yeah. at the uh, yeah. El Bano. But no, Fra Frazier, you were the judge there. and That damn. used to be my name in stand-up. I was Al Bano. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Where I used to work in Vegas under Al Bano. And I only did the Spanish rooms. Yeah. I would do the rooms. And I would do, I would do most of my show in Spanish, even though I don't know Spanish. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that happened, but... Al, you would have loved it. I would have, indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, so, Frazier, you were the judge on that, and I appreciate you. I, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, on it. On well, Al Banyo does yeah. those kind of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I thought that was cool that you were the judge, and you know that was a. The thing about that thing is that it had so many judges on that. Well, there were more judges than there were uh, uh, audience members. Yeah, and uh, that was the hard part because it took us like three days to get all the votes tabulated. Oh. Oh. but you did win. Yeah, I came oh no, you came in second. second. Yeah, yeah. Who, who came in? Who could have beaten you that day? You were so good. Uh, Jose Raymond. Oh, Jose oh, Raymond. Jose. Well, Jose, Jose Raymond's pretty good too. Jose. Yeah, he's no Al Banyo, but he's no, no Keith Reza. <laughs> That's yeah. for sure. That's right. But, like, uh, it was weird because, like, Jose is Willie Barsenio's main feature. Uh -huh. So he has the training of Willie, and I have the training of Norm and Jeremy. You know what I mean? So, like, I, you know, it was a tough fight, but he also went on very early, and I went yeah. on last. Well, I thought you did great. Yeah. It doesn't matter who won. The, yeah. the, what's important is you did well. Yeah, I appreciate that. You did really well, and you were really funny. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought you should have won, though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, Bruce Jingles t uh, said the exact same thing. Well, then you, I would take that all with a grain of salt. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, if Bruce Jingles said so, then you know we've got an okay, issue. Gonna, yeah, we, but, we, we gotta reconsider. But I love in that Bru case. You probably lost. <laughs> I know, but I love Bruce. But I think Bruce doesn't think I'm funny. You know, so when he told me. He like he texted me. He's like, by the way, I just want you to know I voted for you and you know, all that stuff. And then I well, see. Well, he lied about that. But, yeah. you know, Bruce always lies. Uh, and then I see Jose Raymond's status, and he write Bruce writes on his status, I voted for you. Well, see, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you can't trust Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. I love Bruce. Well, he's drunk. 
Yeah, <laughs> most of the time. And stoned. He did your show the other day. Yeah, he was totally stoned. <laughs> yeah. And if he isn't stoned, then I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. Very articulate. Genius. Yeah. But it's a good thing that Al Banyo knows many languages. Many languages. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you remember in Vegas when we went to that uh, restaurant to have that, uh, what was it called? It was spaghetti with chili on it? Oh, yeah. The, uh, uh, the three-way uh, fire alarm chili. Yeah, fire alarm. Famous, like famous yeah. from uh, Cincinnati. It was delicious. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, we're driving to Vegas later to get some. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jacob good. and I are going. That Jacob? Sounds, no, sounds I'm not delicious. invited? No, we can't have you. You, you, can drive, you can drive with Bruce uh, uh, Bruce. Jiggles. Yeah. <laughs> Can Alan Lee come? Yeah, Alan can Oh, I'd love yeah. to. Thank you for the Alan's invite. driving. Are you I'm dry, I'm the dry. I always yeah. drive. I love to drive. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but no, sp- speaking, of the, speaking of the Laugh Factory, how they have uh, all these guys, and uh, I think right now it's Kevin Nealon. They should give you a, uh, uh, the Fraser Smith show. You think well, they-, they talked about that, but then they realized that they already have enough nights that aren't working. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, you know, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but I think that would be perfect for you because you like to host and you like to interview. You're a great interviewer. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I, I always uh, feel that all those years in radio have given mm-hmm. me that that mm-hmm. skill set. Yeah. You know, I was on, I've been on radio for about two or three years, and uh, I've gotten a lot of, uh, you know, I started uh, late in life. When I was 73, I started, <laughs> and, uh, and I've been doing it for about three years now. <laughs> so I interview a lot of people. That's how long I've been doing radio. Is that right, three really? Years. Wow. Uh, well, that's good. You know, and, and uh, like last night, I had Bruce Jingles on, one of the biggest uh, celebrities in the country. <laughs> Huge, Bruce huge is celebrity. He's very big. Love, yeah, especially but yeah. You get big names. You got Rich Little because I told oh, you to Rich Little. You told me to get Rich, Rich Little. Little. Yeah, you told me to get Little, and I couldn't tell who I had booked on the show because it turned out to be Johnny Carson, uh, Ed Sullivan, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, President, President Reagan, <laughs> and I mean, Nixon. Even Ann Nixon, and, and yeah. That? So I didn't really know who. who <laughs> it was like a tenfold booking. Wow. Yeah, and did, did he called right. Well, he called in, so it but then it turns out he harder. was in the next room, calling in from the next room. <laughs> and I said, "What do you? What, why'd you do that? He yeah. could have just come in." The, and he said, "Well, I'm I'm rich, little. I don't have time." <laughs> he really felt like he didn't have time. I I thought, for example, I thought this was going to turn into a phone interview because I texted you, and yeah, then then you that. said Long you said Beach. Long. Well, I just, I just did that because uh, I want you to stay on your toes. You did yeah. now. Uh, what you said that the building was uh, LB. Wait a minute, uh, LBPM. LBPM, right? LBPM. So I thought it was Long Beach Poly uh, Monrovia. Yeah. And I was out I, first. I was in Long Beach. Then I drove to Monrovia. Oh dear. And I thought, well, maybe I'll find the guys out here. <laughs> and uh, you weren't out there, so I had to double back all the way to Sherman Oaks, where I started. Yeah. Oh, it sense. really Very did confusing. scare the crap Very out confusing. of me, though, because I was like, oh my god, Long like, Beach. We saw you in Long well, Beach. Well, and I blocked some people in in the parking lot oh, too, because you told me not to. <laughs> So I did, and uh, no one's getting out. Yeah. That's all I know. I left my car right at the uh, in the front of the uh, thing. It's no safe. one can get out. Uh, was, uh, that's this awesome. Was, yeah. In this neighborhood, it's good. Yeah, it probably it, is because they can't disturb us for another. 40 we don't want minutes. anybody bugging us. Yeah, because so. it's an important interview. Uh, you know, except Bruce Jiggles, he's welcome to call if he wants. Well, we should have him call it. Yeah, he should call. Yeah, I, I plan on getting Bruce on the show soon. Well, that would be a that, huge that mistake. Be, but yeah, let's do it uh, now. Uh, <laughs> so, how long have you been doing this show? It's, uh, how long has it been, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> Keith, come on, snap out of it. This is an interview. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I've been doing the show for three years. <laughs> 30 years? 30 years. Dear three, Lord. 30 years three, years, three years. Three years. Jeez, what have you been smoking there, buddy? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I always, you must be hanging out with Bruce Jingles. That's right. Wow. Uh, 30 years for 30 this show? Years, no, no, three years. Oh, three three years you years, are 30 years old. Right? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. Are you really? Yeah, so yeah. you started when you were one. Now, the thing I was <laughs> impressed with, yeah, he was the one you had a one-year-old show. He couldn't reach the mic. Uh, they had uh, uh, 12 phone books. 12 phone books. Uh, yeah. yeah. Easily. Now, uh, the one thing I yeah. was impressed very much mm-hmm. with your um, TV performance in Vegas. You went on the local TV. Oh, yes. And just killed it. Oh, thank you. You so know, much. and Jose still did a little better. But uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, but but you were very good on that. Oh, thank you so much, Fraser. That, yeah. that means a lot to me. Very good. Yeah. It was it was Regis and who? Somebody? It was um Kathy and Yeah, it was some, no, it was and Jingles. Uh, <laughs> 
Kathy and Jingles. Now, there's a show. That would be a good show. That'd be, yeah. that'd be interesting. Interesting yeah. casting. I, like uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it was. My publicist got that. And, like... So good. Yeah. You did so well. I appreciate it's that. So I haven't gotten anything out since. And I was like, oh, but I what? killed that. Well, you did. I hope you kept that tape. Oh, did yeah. Did you get that tape? I do, keep, I do have it. Oh. Good, good. Well, I'll make sure I give it to Harry Basil, who's been following me <laughs> everywhere. I can't get rid of the guy. Yeah. I, I, I love Harry. Al Banio should have I love Harry. Al Banio should have his own show at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. He's, he's already got his name on the, on the wall there. Yeah. He's already. <laughs> Al Banio. I love Harry, but I don't think Harry thought I was a good feature. Oh. Well, like, you know, that's I, a mistake, because yeah. clearly you are. Yeah, thank clearly you. Clearly you are. Now, Jose is not. No, I, I got to tell you, I, I worry about, about Jose <laughs> as a feature. But he beat me. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm concerned about. We're going to have to talk to some people. Uh, a lot of judges. Yeah, though. a lot of judges have <laughs> issues. Yeah. You know that. But like, but, I don't trust any judges anywhere. But you, you, you like you like uh, hosting. I mean, when I, I think you're the funniest guy, you should be headlining. Like, do you? Well, I've come up with a new thing: host lining. Yeah. And what it is is you just keep introducing yourself. Right. You just bring yourself up. You do a couple of minutes, and you go back in the audience, and you come back out, and you bring yourself up again like and right. with new credits, and uh, you know. So you're host line. I like. Yeah. That. So good. It's a new thing. But yeah, that could be the name of your, your reality show. Laugh host lining. I, host like lining. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I bring myself on yeah. stage. I do a couple of minutes. I go back, bring myself back up again. You know, and do that for about an hour. <laughs> Tell him out of material. I, I, okay, we came up with something good on yeah, this podcast. Let's yeah. do it. See. Host line. See, this was worth it. Very good. That's one of my lines, you know, in my, my act where I say, I'm so single, I'm dating myself, ladies and gentlemen, and I love it. Al, that was genius. <laughs> I don't know where you're coming up with this stuff. Is that amazing? Is that amazing? I don't know where you're coming up with it. I had to share that. You, I take it I, back. Al Banyo is not number one. <laughs> you are. Is that amazing? You have come up with some unbelievable material. Unreal. Who's your writer? Bruce Jingle. <laughs> wow. You have taken over. Wow. Amazing yeah. stuff. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. This is why I, li I like it when the guests are here because they always pick on Alan. Well, Al's the greatest. Agent. Alan's, no, uh, we, we love him. But yeah. I'm not Al we Banyo. Love him. No, but he's no Al Banyo. Nope. And who is, really? <laughs> yeah. Think about it. He's That's got his name on almost every building in this town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, and people don't even remember what he looks like. Yeah. Well, they have no idea, and that's part of the charm. Yeah, you know, Al shows up; they don't even know who he is. They don't know that he's booked. <laughs> they, tell him to, they tell him to leave, and then he blocks the parking so that no one can leave. <laughs> that's how he rolls. You ever see like because you, you, you go to the comedy store a lot? You ever see like the names of like all the old comedians who aren't around anymore? And like, and well, it, yeah, and mostly <laughs> mine. Yeah, uh, my name is on there, and I'm barely around. Um, is it really? Oh yeah, I had to spray paint it on there. <laughs> you know how Al Banyo, I mean, that's how he, you know, he gets there late at night. Yeah. No one's, everyone's gone. He puts his name in about twelve different spots. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking about spray painting my name. Why I'm, not? Why yeah. not? Who's gonna know? Yeah, who's I mean, gonna know? They won't find out for years. Yeah. Well, how did he get on there? See, but they're not going to know. Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, the Just point... Just use the right color paint. Good paint. Yeah. If you use orange paint, they're going to go, well, wait a minute. That's, that that's guy wasn't on here last night. Yeah. yeah. So that's, just, you know. That's a little obvious. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. The reason why I bring the the names up is because uh, you know Steve Trevino, right? Oh my God, yeah, so, so funny. Um, he he uh, he's really funny, and his name is on it. And I was at the comedy store the other day, and just hanging out, and this comedian was trying to impress this girl, and he's like, "Babe, I'm on the comedy store wall," and she's like, "Oh, really? Uh, what's your name?" And he's like, "Oh, it's Steve Trevino." And I'm just laughing because she has But it no, wasn't Steve Trevino? It wasn't Steve, but I was just laughing. But, so I was just like, oh, my God, you know, that's actually genius. Well, it is pretty it. genius. And, you know, Steve Trevino did that with me. Did he really? Yeah. He said, I'm Fraser Smith. <laughs> See, I'm right there. And, and I heard him say that. And I, I said, Steve, come on. You're not. Come on. And he goes, Fraser, I've got to try to impress this girl. Yeah. But he ended up marrying her. Well, see, that was a, that's where he went wrong. That's what he gets for using my name. <laughs> it was a mistake. Alan, you know that's not right. I know, no, not at all. <laughs> Come on, that's terrible. Yeah. But uh, which one do you which one do you enjoy doing more, radio or stand up? I like uh, Roundup, which is a combination of stand up and radio. <laughs> I call it Roundup. And uh, what you do, you do some stand up on the radio. You have some jokes, right? And and then you throw down with that. And then a lot of times, uh, I'll be on stage. Uh, 
and, and I'll toss to a commercial. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of like it's, it's Roundup. Yeah. Roundup. I like yeah. that. Like We're creative. <laughs> You've got to be creative in this market. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's host lining, and then there's Roundup, round and yeah. all kinds of... Um, but I, to, be, to be fair, Alan kind of helped you on the host lining thing. Well, he did. He yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah. Got, but I he did. gets an assist. I get it. Yeah. He gets an assist. I appreciate that. Um, you know, which one do I like better? Uh, I, I don't know. They're about, I like radio, I think. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I've done it for like... Uh, mm-hmm. Like I said, three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. I, like <laughs> three weeks. And, uh, <laughs> but like, see, I, I love stand up comedy because I, I there's nothing better than making people laugh. But I also like radio because I feel like I'm making people laugh. But the thing is, I can't tell over radio. That's an interesting way to see. Well, it. that is good. You know, uh, my goal is to uh, really is to make no one laugh, oh. and uh, I think I've succeeded. <laughs> that, you know, you have to. You made me laugh. As low as possible. <laughs> well, you're really uh, wrecking the curve on this. <laughs> Yeah, I had no laughs going into this show, and now I'm getting a lot of them, and it's wrong. <laughs> you pretty much ruined my career. Thanks a lot. Sorry about that. You know, <laughs> this is why John right Lovitz won't do high it. School. Well, you know, John Lovitz. Yeah, he said that to me. He goes, "I'm not gonna go on Keith's show." <laughs> and I said, "Well, well, why not?" And he and he goes, "He's too funny." <laughs> He thought you were too funny, and, and uh, he didn't want the competition. Oh, man. Well, I appreciate it. You know, he came in last in that contest at the Ice House, John Lovitz. Did he? Yeah. Did he, really? Because he was yelling at the judges the whole time. <laughs> I don't have to be here. You know, he was yelling at him. No, he didn't do any jokes. He just yelled. He just yelled. So he didn't get to his piano stuff. No, he never got to the piano, and they didn't have one. And oh. that was the problem. Yeah, no, so John was up there, and he's like, what do I do now? How do I end the show? He didn't know how to get off stage. He just stood up there for a couple of days after the show. It was kind of embarrassing. A little hard, a little hard. Yeah, it was tough, Alan. It was tough. Um, uh, so, yeah, man. So, uh, now, uh, the, your career's going well. You won the contest. Yeah, my We're going to say you won. Okay. No one's going to know. You won. But what if Jose Raymond listens? Well, Jose Raymond probably was not listening. But if he is, then he won. Okay. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, Jose is very funny, too. too. Oh, he's great. Yeah, too, no, I like Jose great, a lot. Yeah. He's, he's funny and he's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, but no, my career, uh, I mean. It's doing well. It's yeah. doing well. we got to keep things rolling. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, we got to do we that. we got to get you out of the OC. Yeah, I want to go on. You're the, down in the OC a lot, right? Yeah. i got to get to L.A. and get inside the Laugh Factory and the comedy. Well, now, where do you play down in OC? Uh, Irvine Improv, Bray Improv, and a bunch of bars that pay me thirty dollars to talk about autism. <laughs> well, no, you know, in a bar, they need to know about they, it. They know. Yeah. They do. Now, in terms of uh, so, Irvine's great. Yeah, so that's a great club, nice right? That's a great club. Yeah. And then have you Bray, been to the new one yet? Well, I have been to the new one. Yeah. And then with Hots, Hots and I played down there. And then uh, we've got the, uh, the the Brea has got Danny is running it now. The new, they've got a new uh, guy running it. Really? Yeah, Danny. It's no longer Josh? I think it's Danny now. Wow. In Brea. But Danny's a great guy. Yeah, I could hit up Danny then. Talk to Danny. He's my friend. All He's right. real cool. Uh, if they give me a date, you want to do the show with me? I'll do anything. Oh. I'll pretty much do anything except uh, Notre Dame High. Because right. I just I had enough of that when I was going there. <laughs> and the thing is, I never actually went there. But I still have had enough of it. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, that'd be fun, man. I'll write, yeah, yeah. I'll write Danny a letter. Tell Danny we need to th- get things going, Doc. Yeah, I'll say, Fraser Smith says you you got to give me a date. Uh, well, then you'll never get it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can say that, sure. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, but, yeah, let's try to do some shows. Yeah, let's I, I had fun work with you in Vegas. I thought it was fun. You know, I, and, like, that that's one of the things, like, I don't know how much you, like, that meant a lot to me that you were, because, you know, obviously I'm very close with Jeremy and I'm close with you, and I thought that would have been the perfect show. Would have been a good show. You know. Uh, we were sorry that Jeremy had that accident. Yeah. You know, we still we, don't even know what actually happened. Well, I'm not sure either. I think he tripped on his cat. Does he have a cat? No, he has. His dog, Shaq. Shaq, yeah. Shaq the dog. Yeah. He might have tripped on Shaq is my guess, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. But then we heard, like, he got in a car accident. We've heard Well, I guess I did hear stories. that, and then yeah. we heard that, you know, he had fallen off the roof at Notre Dame High. Yeah. There's a lot of rumors <laughs> yeah. that went on. And then we uh, heard that John Lovitz, like, John broke Yo- his Lovitz, arm by yeah. yelling at him. He twisted his arm, yeah. and uh, that could have happened. <laughs> so. You will not go on before me. <laughs> 
competition. Yeah. But I keep saying if Jeremy was healthy, he would have won that competition. Mm. Oh, Jeremy, easy. <laughs> easy. Would've he would have smoked me and Jose. Well, that's true. Although Jose probably broke his arm. <laughs> now, knowing Jose, that guy does not mess around. Yeah. But um, Fraser, you were you were you've done movies too. You were in one of my favorite movies called Blank Man. You remember Blank that? Man? I was in Blank Man, yeah. and uh, they cut most of my part out yeah. wisely, <laughs> wisely because they wanted to get some ratings, uh, or so you know, yeah. have some uh, people come to the box office. But it was uh, fun. That was uh, Mike Binder directed yeah. that along with uh, Damon Wayans. Yeah, Damon Wayans was Blank Man. Yeah, he David was Allen. Blank Man. Yeah, and David Allen Blank Man was in it too. Yeah, David yeah, David Allen Blank. He was in a, uh, it was quite a movie. Yeah. And so was, uh, what's her name, uh, Robin uh, Givens. Really? Yeah, she was in there, in that movie. I know I know. Jason Alexander was in there. He was in there, too, yeah. Yeah, well, the the question I had is, um, because it, movies nowadays, they are putting a lot of stand-up comedians in it, in it to, like, make the movie work, and... Blank Man was in, nine, in the 94, 93 range, right? Yeah. That style wasn't really popular then. So what was it like being in a film with the style that probably influenced a lot of movies like that? Well, you know, I knew most of those guys. I yeah. knew David Allen Greer was a friend of mine, and, and Jason Alexander was a friend of mine. And, uh, and you know, I knew everyone in the film. So it just seemed like old home week. And my buddy yeah. um, uh, uh, Mike Binder was the director. Yeah, I love Mike. Mike's very talented, great guy, and an old friend from Detroit, like me. Yeah. And uh, he went to Notre Dame High. But we, um, we, you know, it was fun. It was just it's fun when you work with your friends. Yeah, yeah. It's you it know? doesn't make it seem like it's work, mm-hmm. right? It doesn't. It was really fun to shoot yeah. that. But you know, I think uh, on that movie they were a little bit um, off on their timing. I think if that movie had come out like today, it would probably do great. Oh yeah, definitely. You know. It, it because uh, people are more concerned about helping the disabled, yeah. and I think also uh, superhero movies are big, so that you know, kind of a superhero spoof would have worked uh, even better. Yeah, you know. So a lot of times, I think they were a little ahead of their time. Yeah, that and it was, it was coming off that character that uh, Damon had done in uh, uh, on uh, in Living Color. Yeah, yeah. right. Which uh, was another show that was kind of ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. So maybe if the timing had been a little better, that would have been more of a hit. Yeah. Yeah, but I I still thought it was the funniest movie. Very funny movie. Yeah. Very good movie, you know. And I was actually in it a lot more. I think... Uh, well, you were telling me a lot of stuff got cut. because A lot of, of stuff got cut. Yeah. I think they overshot or something. I don't know. Or maybe my stuff was just bad. I don't know. But it, whatever. Uh, I had a bunch of newscaster scenes. I was a newscaster. Yeah. And so I, I didn't, you know, a lot of that didn't make it. Yeah. Um, which I am still complaining to SAG about. I call them every day. What happened? <laughs> I don't even identify myself. I just go, what, what happened? happened? Uh, and they go, who is this? <laughs> and then I go, Chad Lovitz. <laughs> yeah. So but, I, I want them to think it's always John Lovitz who's causing trouble. Yeah. Well, that's very smart. You know? yeah. You, you could, yeah. He'll be kicked out of the union sh- soon. <laughs> Why did you kick me? Uh, you know, he'll be complaining about that. But uh, do, but do you want to get into acting? Because I think you're a great actor. I think you'd oh, be that's nice of you, Keith. Awesome well, character. Uh, I you know uh, I've done quite a bit, but I haven't done as much as I would like. And uh, uh, many people would probably say that uh, yeah. about their career. But um, yeah, thank you for saying that. Uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of uh, parts at a, at a certain point in my career because. Of the radio being so big, yeah. So I was kind of my profile was higher in the in the town, and uh, people would just sort of cast me. A lot of times I didn't even have to audition; I would just get the part. Yeah, that's a good and answer. which is always good. And um, and those days, uh, you, you know, I, I'm just not as as uh, big on the radio as I was back then. So I don't get those uh, offers like I did. Yeah. But you know, I'm still uh, uh, you know I take acting classes from a very good teacher, and I keep sharp on that. And John Lovitz, isn't it? Uh, John Lovitz is my coach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fraser, why did you I don't? I told you to project. <laughs> Be in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. The moment. Yeah. John Lovitz. He's always in the moment. John Lovitz. If you've noticed that. Have you Questions. Noticed that? <laughs> Questions. Who needs him? <laughs> All right. I like his, his Q&A. Yeah. Because he'll go at the end of the show, he'll do a Q&A. Sure, and he'll yeah. go, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> I thought not. Good night. <laughs> he doesn't give anyone a chance to ask, chance. ask any questions. Well, uh, I, I, uh, 
I wrote a movie, and uh, it's a romantic comedy, but if it ever gets picked up, I want you to be in it. Well, okay, but I have to clear it through uh, my agent, yeah. Bruce Jingles. Okay. Uh, I can send it to my him. Agent, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he told me, uh, dude, uh, he goes, I'm going to smoke the script. I said, what do you mean? Because <laughs> I'm out of rolling papers, so I'm going to use a script. Uh, yeah. uh, but no, def- but no. I just want you to know that if it's, well, it's very nice yeah, of you. And you're very talented. You know, yeah. you have a, a great sense of humor. You uh, clever. You're very clever, smart, huh. and uh, you're going to do great. I am smart. Yeah. Like it, it, this is the because you know how like uh, when people don't text you back, like with with my Aspergers, it frustrates me. You know what I mean? Because it's like I don't know if they're ignoring me or whatever. I figured out a way to get everyone to text you back. How is that? You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. You just text someone. Hey, did I accidentally send you a dick pic last night? They'll always respond. Well, I yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's a, see, I'm trying to get no one to return my text. <laughs> <laughs> that is my goal. I don't want anybody to text me back, uh, and uh, and I don't like any of that stuff. Please don't ever uh, email me. Don't go to my website. Do I have one? I don't even know. Don't even go <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. You know, no Facebook. I don't want to. I hate all that stuff. You do? You're not, oh, I hate it. You're more of a... Per- that's why my career's in the toilet. Oh, your career's That's why I'm not. Albanio. <laughs> now, you know... Uh, your career's not in the no, toilet. No, no, I'm just saying... You're awesome, but, but I'm just not a guy who likes to do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know you have to. And people get mad. Yeah. You know, people get mad. Like my producer on my radio show, he goes, Phrase, people are really mad at you because you're not uh, liking any of the stuff on uh, Facebook that they send you. Uh-huh. And I said, well, uh, why don't you go ahead and like it all? Yeah. I go, Mel. And he goes, well, some of that stuff you don't want to say like, because that would be get you in trouble. And I, I'm like, who cares? <laughs> I don't care. You know, I mean, <laughs> that stuff to me, yeah. honestly, I, I, I'm not kidding. It really is not something I'm into. And I know you have to be into it. Yeah, because you're, you're used to the olden days, like just uh, word of mouth. Type yeah, thing. And, and, you know, smoke signals <laughs> and uh, tin cans with strings, <laughs> stuff like that. That was how I used to communicate. And I still do. Yeah. I still do. I don't have a cell phone. I have a tin can with a string. And I just go, hey, what's going on out there? You know. And I, had, I had to, like, find the a perfect person to The only other guy that has a tin can you. like that is, uh, is uh, John Lovitz. <laughs> what did you say? You know. Bruce Jingles comes in. Yeah, Bruce Jingles is the other guy that has because he's my agent. He's got to have one, too. Those are different kinds of smoke signals. Hey, come on. It's Bruce Jingles. Come on, guys. I love it. I love it when you do comedy after every joke you do the snap. Yeah, you know, that's my version of Snapchat. You heard about Snapchat, of course, but this is snap, and then I chat. Snap. Chat. That's how I do it. That's brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Love and it. people uh, really are confused by that. Uh-huh. But, but that's my point. My goal is to confuse everyone. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and so far it's working. But <laughs> you snap and then you chat a little bit. My One of my favorite jokes of yours is, uh, is where you say... Um, uh, you know how like uh, escorts online, they want 200 roses an hour? I want to be the guy who actually shows up to their house with 200 roses. <laughs> Yeah, those guys. Yeah. yeah. That's just so funny because it's like I could just imagine someone actually doing that. And then yeah. you snap, snap. And then you snap. And then you leave. That's how you do it. It's like pizza delivery. Yeah. All these roses. You know. And uh, I, I'm always delivering stuff to Bruce Jingle's house. But I think it's probably weed. It's, it's in a pizza box. I don't I don't look. Yeah. I don't look. I don't want to look. So that's how you pay him is a pizza yeah. box? Yeah. Well, it's my agent. i got to oh. pay him. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of these days, I will actually uh, accept an email ah, awesome. or, a, or a text, ah. but it's not going to be for a while. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of time, you know what I mean? I'm busy blocking parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because he just said he blocked this parking lot. Yeah, I did, and that, see, it proves it. Yeah. Fraser, I have a question. Uh, you've interviewed uh, a lot of people uh, over your career. Who is the coolest person you've ever interviewed? Like, and you've interviewed a lot of people. Like, well, I'd have to say Alan. Oh, uh, Alan is pretty I cool, love, man. Thank you. And uh, I like it. see, Keith, I am cool. See, and you know, <laughs> to me, the coolest of all. But if we had to pick someone who's not in this room tonight, uh, I guess I would go with Alice Cooper. I like Alice Cooper. Oh, yeah, I like Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper's very hip. Yeah, and very funny, and and uh, we're both from Detroit, Play so golf. we yeah, he's a great golfer, 
That's and, right, you do golf. Yeah. And, you know, Johnny Carson said he was the uh, wittiest of all the rock stars, and I think he probably is, I although agree. David Lee Ross pretty witty, too. But, I like him, too. But, uh, and I like David, too. David is another great yeah. guest. Uh, he's been on my show uh, yeah. a lot. and and But I think uh, I always like Alice. Yeah. He has because he has a range of interests that you can uh, talk to him about. You know, he, he's a golfer. He likes sports. He likes rock music. He's you know, uh, horror movies. You know, across yeah. he does. A, he's got a lot of interests, yeah. and that always makes for a good interview. A few pointers in makeup. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly, Alan. Alan That's uh, why Alan's number two on the list. <laughs> Alice comments Co- like that, buddy. Alice uh, golf's because he does the Patrick Warburton golf tournament. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah do you really? No, 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 Alan, no, no, no Alice no, no, Cooper does. Cooper. Oh, Alice does. Well, I thought yeah. Alan did. So I've I seen Alice. Al Banyuin. I've seen Alice. I've always wanted. Yeah. Like I'm a fan of his, but no, I've always wanted to meet him. But great. I've always been too scared because yeah. Wayne's World kind of blew it for me. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, and that's how it is everywhere he goes. People are bowing down to him on the golf course. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. That's that why happened. it takes him a long time to get through a round. Because <laughs> everyone's bowing, and he's like, all right, guys, enough. enough. Yeah. You know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, now, Patrick Warburton, uh, now, when is his tournament? It's in March. You want to do it? I would love to play in his tournament, yeah. Yeah. That guy's be, great. That'd be fun. Did he ever uh, respond to you about the ring? I never heard back from him, but uh, but I blame that on you. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> because he told me, because Keith told me, he goes, oh, he'll call you back. He's my buddy. Yeah. And I knew right then that he wouldn't call back. Uh, my ride's here. That cop car down there? <laughs> yes. There he is. He's down there. I got to get down there. Uh, he's blocking somebody. Yeah, he's, he's probably going to tow me away for blocking the yeah. building. Um, well, yeah, no, he's a great guy, though, and yeah. he's, I know he's a friend of your family, and and, uh, wonderful yeah. guy. We'll get you Very on Very talented it. actor. Super oh, yeah. talented yeah. actor. We'll get you on it on the golf tournament. Well, you got to answer your phone when I text you back. Well, I have no time for that. but Because <laughs> uh, I've got to head down to Long Beach after this. And then <laughs> you got to head down to Long <laughs> yeah, Beach right then now? I'm going, yeah. Then I'm no. going to Monrovia. Because <laughs> oh. I want to retrace my steps and see where I went wrong. Oh, I tonight. thought, you, I th- I thought yeah. you were in Hollywood tonight. Well, I am, but I have to retrace my steps before I get there, uh-huh. because uh, uh, just so I can figure out where I got off course. All right, yeah. you were Because I won't talk to Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Siri's kind of weird. I will not talk to Siri. She has an attitude problem. She's got an attitude, and I won't talk to anyone like that. No, I don't have time. <laughs> can you can you imagine if Siri was John Lovitz's voice? Though? Oh my oh God! My, oh you my would God. every there'd be accidents everywhere. Yeah, everyone would be in an accident. Yeah. I said to turn left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You'd be yelling at all the drivers. <laughs> it would be it would be chaos. Like yeah, it would be yeah, really bad. Yeah, it would be bad. But it might be the funniest accident ever. It could be a funny accident. Yeah. And, and, and anything that'll liven up an accident. No good. questions. Yeah. yeah. Like you could just like like turn and kill somebody and then like the Surrey will be like, I said stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah so exactly. Like, now what are your plans? You are uh let me get let me see. You're uh, you're down there in Orange County. Right. Yeah. You're going to try to move up to Hollywood, or what are you doing? Yeah, I'd like to. I, I'd like to sell a couple movies and a couple scripts. You got then, some uh, movie scripts going? Yeah. Well, I mean, I I have. I've been taking a class. I don't have them in an agent's land yet. But you have a couple that are. Yeah. Under. Yeah, I have one called the Fraser Smith uh, Snapchat. Well, we already know that's <laughs> go, that's going to be a hit. Yeah. 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 It's just me snapping the entire movie. <laughs> hey, guys, what's happening? Uh, popcorn. <laughs> yeah, come on, folks. Get that popcorn while you can. Come on. Dots. Let's try some dots. You know. But, no, I'm actually writing a pilot, and, uh, you know, I, I think Good. you're re- really funny, and I'm going to re- put you in. Something. Let's write a Canadian thing for uh, hots. Yeah, let's do it. You know, because Canadian TV is a little easier to get on. Okay. Yeah. And I think if we, uh, you know, put our heads together, we could uh, – you know, oh, oh, now we have a, a police chase during your show. Wow. Wow. Two. John yeah. Lovitz. Cops are I coming. I told those policemen to <laughs> shut up. Now, uh, <laughs> a co- you know, John actually does yell at cops. Yeah. I've been with him where he actually yelled at a cop. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. And they, they don't know what to say. They're like, isn't that John Lovitz? Uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, we should write a Canadian uh, sitcom for, for uh, Jeremy Hotz. Let's do it. Let's you know, he's known what he's well known up there. Yeah. And it's a little easier, I think, to get on the air there with a show. So why don't we uh, uh, pool our talents and put together something for uh, Hotsey? Yeah. And then we can write ourselves in. Yeah, let's do it. We could give him a pilot for his birthday. It's just passed, so next birthday. 
Yeah, yeah. Or uh, Christmas, but he doesn't celebrate because he's Jewish or something. Well, yeah. Uh, I he, texted him Merry Christmas, and he got mad at me. And I didn't know Jew. Like, I don't know a lot well, about religion, he, he, but I didn't know. He gets mad a lot anyway. Yeah. So you know, so I think that was just normal. Um, more cops. Here we go. <laughs> you Only on your show do we have. Is this a police it's show? Like a Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, the, sh- the sheriff is the up. next guest. Oh, he's oh your next one. Well, that's his uh, motorcade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a week well, early. Well, they won't be able to get in the building because <laughs> I have him blocked out. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a hostage situation. So, um, yeah, no, I think let's do something for Hots. Well, now, what kind of a show could you see Hots doing? I could see him being, well, because he, he talks about being miserable a lot. So I could talk. So a good show will be like maybe he's just miserable. Uh, that's a good idea, you know. And like he could be like a boss, and he's like, Ugh. Yeah. Shaq attack, you know. Then, Shaq is his attack dog. And, yeah, and, and he has him uh, uh, kill all of his employees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not a good we're pitcher. We're onto something. Yeah. We're onto something. That sounds good. Well, I can I, do that. Yeah. Alan and I will do that. We yeah, just got to come up with the uh, premise on this. We but just got to explain it good enough for Bruce. So well, Bruce in, Jingles, uh, yeah, he probably, you know, he, he is a, a television executive, yeah, but I don't yeah. know if knew, a lot of people knew that, I but that's know. how he got his start uh, up in Canada. Oh. Bruce is, a, is Canadian. Uh, and, yeah, uh, people didn't know that about him. He, he, uh, he's a Canadian uh, broadcasting <laughs> giant up there. And he's taller than most people in Canada. The yeah. People in Canada are very short. I don't know if you knew that. And uh, you know who's big up there is Al Banyo. <laughs> Al is a, a known superstar <laughs> yeah. up there in Canada. So maybe we should do the Al Banyo show. Yeah, that'd be cool. Interesting. Jeremy could be oh. Al Banyo. He could, uh, like, uh, act or well, something. Well, no, I would have to be Al Banyo, uh. but Jeremy could be my yeah. sidekick. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I got a good idea. We're for cops. We'll We're mounted policemen. But we're looking for. That's we got to get you an idea, police. too, because I think you could, you could definitely lead a series, too. Well, it's very nice of you to say. You know, the hard part in this business is uh, getting that across to the executives. Yeah. That's right. You the know, suits. you have to uh, get the suits to realize yeah. that because mm-hmm. uh, it's nice of you to say it, and uh, I've wanted to do that for many years, and I've pitched a lot of shows over yeah. the years. But yeah. you have to have a little bit of uh, a luck with that and a timing, and uh, you, you, know, you also have to have uh, the right uh, premise at the right time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I could oh. definitely see you doing it, like, so I'll, I'll think of a, something. Well, like that'd be art. really nice of you. Thank you. What do you think I could be, like a detective? Yeah, I I, yeah, so definitely. Didn't you do that, though? Right? Didn't you try and pitch something like that? I had a, a detective thing yeah. Yeah, that didn't go anywhere. Huh. Uh, it was called Fraser Smith House Dick. <laughs> and uh, I thought it was going to be big. <laughs> well, it was big, i got to tell you. But <laughs> it, it was something that uh, I thought was going to be uh, maybe... Uh, bigger, but yeah. you know, a lot of people think that about themselves. Uh, no, I I um, I had a thing called Dick Surf, Private Guy. Yeah, and it was like a, a surf bum who was also a, a, a private detective, and it was kind of like, uh, well, a little bit like the old uh, uh, James Garner one. What was it called? Uh, Rockford. Rockford. Whoa! It's a little bit like right. Alan. Thank you. That's, that's why you're the number one sidekick bingo. in this room. Thank he you. Spills the water uh, over yeah, the well, microphone. Yeah, well, that's okay. John Lovitz would yell at him. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> what are you doing with that water? <laughs> uh, so, and, and my, yeah, and my, <laughs> so my boss, the police lieutenant Lovitz. Yeah. Uh, we could put Lovitz in that thing. Yeah, oh, definitely. Don't you think a Norm could be in it too? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. Could Norm. be. Uh, uh, oh, well, uh, yeah, you know. So we have <laughs> Norm in there. Um, all right, let's think about that. Yeah, we only have about three more minutes, and I wanted to ask you one last question because this was actually a Twitter question that I actually remembered, and it was said, "Ask Fraser this question." Okay. Uh, did you ever have any uh, like groupies slash stalkers, and if so, do you still have their phone number? Uh, well, what what I had, what I, had a, I had had a combination of groups and stalkers, grokkers, yeah, oh. and uh, groppers. I guess I call them. And yeah, uh, I will give you their phone number because you deserve. To, but it wasn't for me; it was for Alan Lee. Oh, oh well, God, you guys, you so deserve that kind of Thank torture. I really appreciate. Uh, that. Yes, <laughs> I had my moments back uh, in the day. Uh, yeah, with stalkers what, and groupies. What was it like? Did someone just follow you to a comedy club? Well, or? it's kind of like I'm following everyone now. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> and it was Harry Basil. <laughs> he was following me everywhere. I couldn't get rid of the guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I had my uh, groupies and uh, 
Starkers. All right. Well, Fraser, we're about to wow. wrap up. Uh, do you have anything coming up, like any movies or any TV shows, or where can uh, the folks at home see you? I'm just going to try to get down to Long Beach and back to Monrovia <laughs> and then back to Hollywood <laughs> uh, tonight. But, yeah, no, I, I don't. I'm trying to sell a movie script. I have it out there now. It's called Great. Time Ball, Futuristic Football. Uh-huh. And uh, I have a TV show uh, that I'm trying to sell called Calabasas. Oh. And it's all about Westlake. Now, you figure that yeah, out. Yeah, Calabasas no, uh, Westlake. I like that. Yeah, it's a pretty hip TV series. So. I've got it out there with a lot of people. We're trying to sell that. Oh, and I, I have a feeling it's going to sell because you deserve to be on TV. Well, that's really nice of you to say. I'm a big fan of yours, Keith. Yeah, oh. you. uh, we were kidding around this whole time, but I, I do really like your comedy. You're a very talented kid, oh. and I know you're going to do real well. Oh, thanks, And Fred. Alan, well, yeah. not so much. No, <laughs> Alan's also very talented and the number one sidekick in this room. There you go. You're a good man. I oh. love you, Alan. Thank you. All right, well, you guys. Hey, thanks for having me well, on your show. Thank you for Frazier. coming really out here. I appreciate and, it. it great. I've got to go right. unblock the driveway. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for your nice sure. words. I, I love you very Mr. much. Thank man. you, Fraser Smith. Uh, oh, yes. You guys are both good guys. We thank you for joining us on the Fraser Smith Show tonight here <laughs> at Notre Dame High. Good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, Fraser. Good night, uh, Fraser. Well, okay, that's the show, guys. There you uh, go. Uh, oh, Fraser, do you want people to add you on the Facebook? And the I <laughs> hope they don't. <laughs> Uh, no, don't do that, please. <laughs> or, or, the, just, or the nothing, Twitter. Nothing. The only thing would be Snapchat. 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 If you want to do that, that's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Fraser right. Smith, once again, to the for coming in. Thank you so Thank much. You. I really appreciate it. The funniest it's guy. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and then, uh, Alan Lee, do you have anything coming up this week? Uh, well, what I have coming up uh, is uh, going back to uh, teach those children, and uh, I hope I, I, they don't kill me in summer school. He's well, I, I hope they do. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's not all. I'm just kidding, Alan. Of he's course a, I don't. He's a teacher. Oh, yeah. That's really <laughs> wow. Okay, those kids it's are hard in trouble, to make man. It comedy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, uh, I'm Keith Reza. I don't, the next show I have is in uh, the OC Steel House on June 30th. So tickets are $15. If you want to go, go there. Uh, like our fan page and Twitter at Reza Riffs. And uh, rate us and review us on iTunes and subscribe. We need the help. And once again, thank you so much, Fraser, for coming. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Good night. We'll see you guys next week. You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee right here on L.A. Talk Radio.